everybody. So, I have to admit, I have an appalling attitude to these things. It's really terrible. And it comes from that idea of, well, just give it a go and see. You know, we live inside our heads too much and we overthink stuff about how difficult it's going to be, what happens if this, what happens if that. More than half the time, in fact, I would say 90% of the time, it just never happens. And when you actually do it, you find it stunningly, stunningly easy. And I approach that with software the same way I approach everything. So, this machine, it comes with the Cura software on this little USB micro SD converter you get in the pack. All you have to do is stick it in your computer and open the file, and what you'll see is Cura software. Okay, I'm using a Mac, but it's the same for Windows, and when you open that USB drive, this is what you'll see. And of course, there's a user manual, then you have the software, you've got the Elego software, the software drivers. The Elego software contains the DMG, which is the Mac file, and the EXE, which is the um, Windows file. With Mac, you swap the DMG file onto the Applications folder. With the Cura EXE file, you just double-click on it and follow the prompts on the screen. It also has the software drivers, which obviously got the Mac drivers and the Window drivers. It provides a model, which has a little tool holder that we talked about, and a Buddha. And then there's a video tutorial, and you notice the Buddha has got the G-code right there as well. With the Mac, just double-click the DMG, grab the Elegoo Cura file and drag it into the Applications folder. When it's in Applications, double-click it, it will verify it, put a copy in Launcher and pull up this screen. With the um, Windows, it'll go through its installation routine and you just click Yes, Yes, Yes. Now then, we need to make sure that we've got the right printer, and of course we're using an Elegoo Max, and this is an Elegoo Neptune 3 Plus, so we're going to change that. And to do that, click on the printer. Click Add Printer. Click Add Non-Networked Printer. Click Elegoo and select your printer. Obviously we're using the Max. Click Add and you go to this screen, and that really is all there is to it. Now all we need to do is find ourselves an STL file. Okay, so we've set up the printer, we've leveled the bed, we've installed the Cura. I mean, I'm almost embarrassed that this is a video because it really is that easy. Now we've done using Cura on different videos, and of course the software is independent to the printer. Now we've done the printer setup, we've got nothing else to do with that. All we need to do is use Cura, and we've done Cura videos. But I thought I'd show you exactly on the Mac because I've done it again installing Cura on a PC but it's as simple, you really just install it, double click it, follow the instructions on the screen and Cura will be installed. To use Cura, find yourself an STL file and you can drag and drop it and it will drop it onto the print bed. All you then really have to do is press slice and print and you're away. You can fiddle around with it, you can change the scale, you can change the size, change the position, you can put different bits on, all that sort of stuff, but I, I can't tell you how easy this is to do. It's one of those things, if you overthink it, you'll end up thinking, oh no, problem, 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 problem. If you just get up and do it, you'll think, well, okay, what was I worried about? Because within 30 minutes of taking this thing out of the box, you're going to be printing. Place to look for STL files, Thingiverse. It is an astonishing resource, and there are lots of others, but Thingiverse is probably your first port to call. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching, and please do remember to like and subscribe.